Perfect. Thank you. Man. Hi, Frida. Hi, great to see Hi, you again. Nice to see you. Thank it's you. been a while since it has. we saw each other last. The Chamber is a Commerce event, correct? Yes, so you have a seat. Well, again, I'm yes. Allie Hardy. I'm with All Georgia Insurance yes. Agency. Nice to see you again. Great to see you. Thank you. I'm going to start off and give you my business card. Thank you. Thank you. Just Thank in case you. after our meeting you have any questions. Okay. Uh, so I'm really happy you wanted to continue our conversation. Yeah, looking forward from to the it. event. It was great to meet you and your husband, Fred. Thank um, you. And I remember we talked a lot at the meeting about your new home. Congratulations! Thank you. Beautiful oh, labor of love. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah. So one thing that I forgot to mention, to you guys, was that I actually am a Florida State alumni. Okay. And yeah. you had mentioned to me that you currently have a child at Florida State. Is that I correct? I do. I do. Yes. That's our, our, our 21 year old is there. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I mean, too much fun. A lot of fun, <laughs> for sure. I, I had a great time there. And did you get the chance to catch the game this weekend? The UF, uh, UM? UF I did. FSU I did. I caught the end of it. Yes. It was great. Was FSU win. It was so awesome. Yes. I got to watch it actually in Tallahassee. Oh, fun. So yeah. me and a couple of my sorority sisters met up there. Mm -hmm. And it was a great game. So I'm mm -hmm. sure he or she, your son, loved it. Or yes. your child loved yes. it. So, um, great. So I want to confirm that I have about 15 minutes of your time today. We do. We have 15. That's correct. Great. Great. So. My goal for today is I want to come in, I want to analyze what you're currently working with okay. insurance-wise, your okay. business, your loop stations, your car wash, yes. your garage, but also I want to take a, per a look at your personal okay. insurance, your okay. home, your ranch. I think you mentioned to me that you have a couple horses, cattle. We do. We do. Great. Yes. So yes. I'm going to do that and then I want to kind of delve into a little bit about your current insurance policy, okay. your agent, and see where you might need improvements there. Okay. Does that work for you today? That works. Is there yeah. anything else you want to add to our agenda? Um, I might have some questions later, but I'll okay. apologize those um, when it's more appropriate. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take notes, if you don't mind, while we talk. Go ahead, please. Great. So I noticed Fred isn't here today. It w is he going to be a part of the decision in the long term? Would you like to include anyone else in this decision-making process? Yeah, Fred and I will make the decision. We're very much partners in life and in business, so um, we okay. will make that decision together. So yeah. I'll make sure to take note of that. So. Fred will be involved, yes. and we're going to make sure that we keep him updated every step. Yes. Okay. No one else, though, that you're really concerned about? No analyst or anything? No, no. Okay. Just us. Yeah. Great. So, moving forward, mm -hmm. I want to make sure that I understand the timeline that we're going to be talking about. So, you either want to stay with your current insurance provider or maybe make a change. Correct. When would you like to make that change by or stay? Um, probably in the next 45 days or so. 45 days. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So about a month and a half we're working yep. with. Yep. I think I could definitely help you out with that. Okay. And I, I really hope that we can find a great solution for you. Okay. So to begin with, I really want to assess your current mm -hmm. insurance policy. Okay? okay. I know when we talked a little bit, you and Fred had mentioned that your current agent isn't Newman. Mm -hmm. Is that location a concern for you as of now? Um, a little bit. I'm more concerned about somebody having the knowledge and the expertise to really handle our business. And as we, you know, cross kind of states, um, as long as they know what they're doing and they meet our needs, I'm okay with where, you know, they can be located wherever. But okay, um, I want somebody who knows what they're doing. Great. Okay. So location kind of aside, you want to focus that they know what they're doing. Yeah. Especially like you mentioned, you were trying to cross them in northern Florida. Right. Yes. Okay. So northern Florida, mm -hmm. southern Georgia. Yep. Uh, so Noonan isn't that big of a concern for you right no, now? No, not right now. So I talked a little bit about your home with you, mm -hmm. and you showed me pictures on your phone. The landscaping yeah. looks beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. So have you had the opportunity to appraise everything at your home since the improvements? Mm -hmm. Have you guys been able to go through and make sure that I saw your kitchen? Mm -hmm. Have you been made sure that you've added value and made sure that that's accounted for? That's a question I have, and just because so, so much of the home um, is historical, and right. the, the way that the, either the items that we use, there are things that are literally irreplaceable. Right. So very sentimental, beautiful. It just know. yeah, they're you know from the 1700s to 1900s. Right. And there's just no way to get okay. another one. Um, so I I want to make sure that we have the right value, um, and I want to know that if something happened, I, I know I would never be able to replace it exactly as it is today, but I would want to know that I could 
get pretty close to where I am. Right. So assessing mm -hmm. the value, that's something that you guys are looking to do. Yes. Okay. And I want to tie that into your business a little bit mm -hmm. because you and Freda both mentioned that you're looking to expand. Yes. So with these loop stations mm -hmm. involved, you want to have a car wash mm -hmm. with merch machinery, employees. Mm -hmm. I know I was driving down I-75. Mm -hmm. I saw a big sign yeah. advertising for yeah. one of the loop stations. So have you been able to appraise everything in your business and make sure that the value is added there? We, I mean, whatever our current yeah, agent has done, okay. I assume it's right, but I think that's part of the discussion. So you and then, the yeah, and then, the, you know, the other things kind of going into just um, how much, you know, is something going to happen, how much things cost. Exactly. If, if our, you know, if one of our businesses got shut down, we had a weather event or whatever, I want to make sure my employees are paid. I want to make sure that we're able to get operations back up and going as soon as possible. So okay. not just the, the actual value of the property, but, um, but looking at, you know, making it, making our business whole in the case of something like that. Great. Okay. So I bring that up. Actually, you mentioned that something was to happen. Heaven forbid, we live so close to the Gulf. Yes. Where I know I'm from Orlando. There's a lot of different ways that hurricane damage mm -hmm. can happen, especially on your home. And that's yeah. something that's so sentimental. You wouldn't want to have to replace that. Right. But heaven forbid you did. You want to make sure your value is there. Yes. And it's been properly appraised. Is that correct? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So... That's something that I did want to bring up, especially living where we do and yeah. wanting to expand into Northern Florida. Yeah. So I want to make sure all of your value is accounted for. Okay. Another thing that you have really emphasized on is expansion mm -hmm. within your business. You guys are trying to create more locations. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about just how much you're trying to expand mm -hmm. and where. So could you tell me a little bit about the challenges and the stuff that you're looking forward to do over the next couple of years? Yeah, so um, looking at, you know, opening these shops in, in areas where we think they're underserved, where we don't have a lot of competition, the market's kind of open. Um, we we do have a partner, kind of an equity partner in that, and um, they're the person that runs the shop also right. has partial ownership. Um, you know, we, we um, obviously, some of these people will have known and maybe worked with, and others are going to be new to us, so I have a little bit of a concern there. Just mm -hmm. about we're bringing somebody in to help us. They own part of our business, right? What if they did something that um, right trust their ownership. yeah yeah? What okay. if they you know we're illegal dishonest? If they you know right. um, beh behaved improperly? Just all these things that right. keep you up at night. Could you um, tell me the percentage there that you would own and they would own? Yeah, like, Fred and I would own um, eighty. They would own twenty. Okay, mm -hmm. they would own twenty. So that's you know not too significant. Right. Yeah. Right. So. Expanding, that's one of your main concerns. This is what you're um, what I'm hearing is the people that you're about to be trusting with your business. So yeah. that's a big concern moving forward. And you're trying to grow. Do you mind me asking the amount of profit that you would be making at each of these locations? And mm -hmm. since you're going to be expanding, it would also increase the amount of revenue that you would be having. Correct? Yeah, so it's going to vary, you know, based on the market. We're mm -hmm. hoping, um, you know, that in the first year, probably on average, we would have $100,000, $150,000 profit each location. Right, right. Um, so it's, yeah, that's that's kind of on average, but that's again um, depending on where the location is. Yeah, yeah, so I want to make sure that you know our, okay. if our biggest um, just geographic market that we we've, we've got enough coverage for that specific location. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. So that's a lot of money we're talking about here. Yeah. So that's a lot of financial stability, mm -hmm. and you, I'm sure you and your family, if you have your home, that's right. it, it powers a lot of that. Yeah. So let's say you stick with your current mm -hmm. agent. He's in Noonan. Mm -hmm. He's a little bit further away from a lot of your locations. You mentioned the location isn't a big issue for you, right. but heaven forbid a natural disaster comes through. Mm -hmm. You haven't been able to get all these things appraised. Mm -hmm. Your business, it's grown, but not by that much yet. Mm -hmm. What type of financial burden would that have on your business, but also you personally? What, what would you be looking at loss-wise? Um, I don't have an exact number to give you tonight, right. but I can tell you it, I mean, um, we have contingencies. We have, right. you know, we could float, if you will, for a little while, but not forever. And so right. that is a concern. Um, especially having these these kind of partner owners when it's their livelihood too. Right. Not just these ours. employees. Yeah. Right. Too. Yeah. And so I just wanted to make sure that yeah, at the end of the day, everybody can be taken care of. Great. Okay. So that's exactly why I came in today. I think that me, along with my company, All Georgia Insurance, can really help you avoid that financial risk. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to come in. I'm glad I got to talk to you a little bit about overall your insurance and what you're dealing with. I kind of wanted to tell you a little bit about my agency, if that's okay with you, yeah. All Georgia Insurance. So we've been around since 1990. Mm -hmm. We really prioritize in our clients mm -hmm. with both business mm -hmm. and their personal needs. Okay. okay. So that's a little bit about our company. We want to make sure we insure mm -hmm. our clients. Mm -hmm. And 
I personally have been with the company for two years. Okay. Since I've been here, I've been able to become certified a certified insurance counselor and a certified risk manager. Okay. Both of those things I take a lot of pride in. I've learned a lot, and I right. in two years that's a lot to have accomplished for me. And I specialize in a lot of high net worth clients and their businesses, much like okay. yourself. Okay. So I want to make sure you feel comfortable working with me and my company. Is there any questions that you have before you move forward? I think my biggest concern, and don't take this the wrong way, right. but is just um, you have two years of experience. Okay. I don't discount that, but I also I, that that worries me a little bit. Just okay. just because you there's no way you could have seen it and done it all. Right. Right. Um. So when there is a question that comes up. Who, who helps you? Who do you go to when you have questions about, you know, a customer like me? Right. You don't know the answer to. Okay. So the concern here, I just want to make sure is my experience, mm -hmm. correct? Okay. So I'm actually glad I would be lying if I said you're the first person that's brought that up. But I actually, yes, I do have um, a little bit of a client testimonial for you. Okay. I'm going to leave it here for you. Okay. You can look it over. Okay. Here's some numbers, mm -hmm. some quotes, and I'm going to also mm -hmm. leave you with our pamphlet all about okay. our company. Okay. In case you have any more questions, so I'm gonna leave that here at the end of the meeting. Okay. But regarding who I talk to, mm -hmm. so I think one of my favorite people in my company, mm -hmm. he is about 20 years older than me. He's been in the company since they started okay. in 1990. Mm -hmm. And he has been a mentor for me, okay. you know, and he has been able to walk me through a lot of it. So mm -hmm. for instance, when Hurricane Irma came through, right. I was dealing with this brand new. Mm -hmm. And it was a lot, mm -hmm. but turning to him, I was able to talk to him and be like, this is what's going on. And he's been through the same sales tra training program that I have in our company. We go okay. through the same thing every year. And he's like, this is where this comes into play. Mm -hmm. And so that having him to lean on has been really great. And right. even working with you, mm -hmm. he's taught me a lot. But if I do have a question, I could always turn to him or one of his right. co-partners who have been around mm -hmm. for a really long time. But I do not want my experience to be an issue here. And I do think some of these client reviews could really help you feel better about that. Okay. So does that help you feel a little bit more comfortable? Moving it forward? does. So like we just talked about, for example, some of some of the values I have in my property, um, just some of the replacing some of our right. income. So he would be kind of looking over some of the things that you do to just to make sure that he agrees with the scenarios. Right. If, if that would make me. you feel more comfortable, okay. I would definitely run it by him. Okay. This is not the first time that I've dealt okay. with this, though. Okay. And I want to assure you that our relationship will be yeah. very, we will talk okay. all the time. We'll make sure everything is in line. So okay. I, I can run it by him if that makes you feel more comfortable. But I do want you to look this over because okay. I think it will make you feel well. Okay. Does that, does that sound good to you? All right. That sounds good. Great. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm really happy about to come in today. Took a lot of notes. I figured out what we're going to do. Well, I figured out what you need when it comes to your home and your ranch. Mm -hmm. I also kind of talked about the lube stations and the car washes, mm -hmm. your garage. Yep. That's what we're going to look at moving forward. So I'd love to take all this back to my office, okay. look it over, come up with a customized plan that would benefit mm -hmm. you and your husband and your businesses. Mm -hmm. So would you be open to meeting maybe next week to go through that plan together? Are you available maybe next Monday or Tuesday around three? Yeah, Tuesday should work. Mondays Tuesday are always three. available. Okay, Tuesday Mondays should... are pretty rough. So <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and leave you this. Okay. And you have my business card. Okay. So I'm gonna be leaving you my review okay. and a little okay. bit about All Georgia Insurance. Yeah. Okay. And then there's my business card. Okay. Thank you. If you have any questions between now and next Tuesday at 3 p.m. Okay. All right. And it was good meeting with you, Frida. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so very much. much. Thank you.